In photography, low light is a photographer's biggest challenge. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can fix and improve your photos to get portfolio quality images in extreme low light situations. And I'm gonna start right now. Now, like I was saying, shooting in extreme low light situations, either at nighttime or just indoors, can be challenging for a variety of reasons. And you need to make sure that your camera settings are perfect to make sure you've got no blur, we've got no ISO grain, but sometimes it just is unavoidable. Take this photo here as an example. It's a photo I've taken at a wedding. Obviously, it's nighttime, we're using sparklers, and the only thing I've got to light the couple are the sparklers. So we can actually have a look. We're shooting at ISO 5000, 35 mil, f1.4, so you can see I was shooting wide open to let as much light in as possible. And to make sure I haven't got any blur or any motion blur within my photos, I'm shooting at 1 200th of a second. But it's the ISO that we've got the problem with. And if we go ahead and zoom in, we can see there is a ton of ISO grain. So realistically, I can't add this to my portfolio. Although I really like the shot, it's not a very good one because the camera settings have let me down. So what can we do to fix this problem? Well, there's a few things we can do. Firstly, what we can do is go to my details panel here. We can actually go down to our manual noise reduction. So what I can do is just increase these sliders until most of that ISO noise has disappeared. But the problem is now the photo looks incredibly soft and it just doesn't work. So then what we can do is go to our sharpening panel here increase that until again, you're happy with the results. But again, it just doesn't end up looking good. Now, if you're struggling with really high ISO grain, like I am in this example, what you can actually do is go to this button here. This is AID noise. And I've actually already made a video on this. If you wanna head and watch this video here, but basically all it does is it looks at the photo, looks at how, mu uh, how much ISO noise there is, and then basically uses AI to remove it. So it's better than using manual noise reduction but it takes far longer. Estimated time on here on a top spec Mac is 10 seconds. So what can we do if we don't want to do that? If you know the photo is just too far gone? Well, and this is a bit more, I wouldn't say this is an unpopular opinion, but I think there's a difference between accidental and intentional. Accidental looks like you're just not shooting correctly. But if you intentionally do something, then it looks like you're just basically breaking a photography rule. Take the Dutch angle, for example. If your horizon's ever so slightly off, it looks off, but it's really far off. You can say it's intentional and we can do the same with grain. So instead of trying to remove grain and make it look grain free, cause that's gonna be really difficult in a low light situation, we can actually intentionally add in grain. Now, in a photo like this, it doesn't matter how much color noise reduction I do, it's just not going to remove it. So step one of making it look intentional is basically changing it to black and white, just simply removing that color ISO noise grain because that is what's ugly. The luminosity grain is okay, but the color noise grain is really what makes this particular photo an issue. So as you can see, what we've done is remove that. What I might actually do is I've got a color cast in here. So what I might actually do is just remove some of that color grading so it is pure black and white. Then what I might do is might brighten it up because color noise isn't an issue anymore. Then what I'm going to do is go to my details, remove as much of that manual noise grain as possible, but not by complete amount. So just reduce it down. Then what we're gonna do is go to my effects here and I'm actually going to simply add in grain here. So make it look from unintentional and accidental to intentional. And as you can see, now the photo I actually think looks really good. It looks like I shot it on like this nostalgic film with added in grain to make it look intentional. Now, I've actually done it to one of my favorite photos that's actually on my gallery and it is this one here. Now this photo has got a few problems. For example, the couple are out of focus and it's super grainy. We're actually focusing on her hand here with this particular sparkler, but I absolutely love this photo. And in fact, it's on the front page of my website. So just because you're shooting in extreme low light situations doesn't mean you'll end up with non-portfolio work. Just simply lean into that grain, make your photo look more grainy, make go from accidental to intentional. Now, if you agree with me or disagree with me, of course, go ahead and write it down in the comments below.